Understanding setting up your branches properly is a fundamental core thing to know in Call of Dragons. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving I'm going to be going over what setup I currently run, why I run these setups, and go over the importance of micromanaging your troops when fighting. <coughs> what is up, guys? Meower here, back with a brand new Call of Dragons video. So, I know this video is a little bit late, but, you know, better late than never. I want to go over what March setups I use for this season of Strife and the March setups I'll be using in general going forward in Call of Dragons since the removal of the Long Range Warfare. So before I start diving in, be sure to drop the like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. So starting off, the way I'm setting up my troops right now is that I never want to have more than two troops two troop types out on the field at any given time. So I have number three, which is my mage setup, and number four, which is my archer setup. And the reason why I'm going over this is because of in Season of Strife, we have the brand new mastery skills. So I am better off using those mastery skills to maximize some of my marches way more than others because, well, when you spread out your mastery skills like I have right now, not all five will be the most optimal for my marches. So for example, I have for my archers a Nico Kenara setup. For Nico Kenara, running Light of Sorland will be far more beneficial than having Ursi Inviction or having Light of Sorland stuck on my Lilia, because if I'm running my Lilia, I won't be running my Nico Kenara. And so far this season, Nico Kenara has been absolutely amazing. So <clears throat> For example, if I'm swapping out Expert Mechanic with Light of Sorlin, I got myself three really solid and really strong above our bridge archer marches because of the way that Mastery System works. And I still have my infantry because, as you guys know, infantry wins wars. And be sure to be on the lookout because we have a huge infantry guide video coming out very soon very soon so you do not want to miss it so the reason why i'm running this as well is that it's easier to micro these troops with their range than it was having for example two mages and two archers and the reason for that since the removal of wrong range warfare you have to micro better archers to get the same results you used to for long range warfare and even then it's more difficult to do so mages can hit back sit back safely and hit on everything but archers will always be at risk because well when a mage is attacking it is standing right where my magrat is standing while archers are in the middle and always at a threat so if i'm microing everything my mage can still keep hitting for free if my archer is getting attacked if i'm running for example two archers and two mages i'll have to go back here and that will disable my mage from continuous dps when it's a safe spot just because i have so many troops together and when you are in a pressure situation sometimes you misclick sometimes a lot of stuff happen so you cannot be consistently microing your troops correctly sometimes input delays occurs and a whole other bunch of stuff occurs so my setup for the archers is well goreskogel is a standard for me sometimes i might even throw in a Madeline and Nika in there or Madeline Garwood in case we need that extra infantry boost and for my mages I run these three marches right here I run of course Goris Kogel, I run Lily, Belen and Bert Tohar so mages this season sometimes people say they are amazing some people say they are bad for me Lily Velen, of course, have become absolute beasts with the uh, uh, access to Light of Solon for them. For Bert Tohar, I'm not really sure what the best option is. I was told the best option for them would be Winged Embrace, just to give them an extra march speed so they can guide better, but I'm starting to find more success with Oracle's Grace. I tried IC in turn diction on them for a while but i didn't really like it that much so thea skill felt a whole lot better especially when replacing two hearts useless second skill they get more attack and of course more attack means better 
damage factors for everything that they do and of course less hero skill damage synergizes so well since there are so many charged up Lilias lowering the damage of their Scorch by 15% is pretty huge and again I want to emphasize on microing your troops so I'm able to micro both my mage marches far more comfortably now that I don't have any archers in the middle to worry about and of course infantry play style is pretty straightforward most of the time sometimes you just throw it in there sometimes you go you know back in and out in and out but 99% of the time you just throw in your infantry and you're more focused on microing your ranged marches now for cavalry um, this season I'm seeing a whole lot of players running multiple cav uh, marches and finding a lot of success on it and we can see it in the merits as well we got fluffy waffles who is a known cavalry player that drops in five cavalry marches at any given time we see so many other cav players as well from noir from bx from eis and sometimes from bxs as well i know they're super annoying to face we see sometimes snake razor running his five cav setup with an infantry in there now that setup is starting to see pick up a lot more traction as well from what i gathered the five march setup for that is as follows the core marches are bakshi emrys or rather emrys primary with bakshi secondary for the increased move speed um there is a of course urak tobin in there as well because you know urak tobin are absolutely cracked when used properly there is a ferrando uh, theodore there is a Skogol Nika speedy march and the last march involves Alistar and another commander but I'm not really sure on the effectiveness of that last march but the whole point is that you run five full on cav marches with single infantry to disable other cavs so that playstyle is starting to pick up a lot of tractions especially with the introduction of Orek Tobin recently but I'm going a bit off topic for now I think that will be my setup because well Again, no more language warfare, making it far harder to run five, five range marches. And of course, you always need infantry at any given moment, because remember, infantry win wars. And if you face any problem, just go or scoggle it. And the final setup is this. This is like a five bomb setup that in case I need a very fast front line for an emergency but i haven't used it at all this season so i might tweak this a little bit it even has aliana garwood i might change up a little bit here maybe make the garwood primary instead of aliana i'll see i'll think about it and see how it goes but this march is pretty untested except for you know farming merits but i haven't really farmed any merits with it but i digress just to a quick recap for now will be course will be this will be my mage setup this will be my archer setup this will be my emergency setup and any given time i want to use these marches i make sure to swap out the skills in the mastery monolith just to milk as much value from my marches as possible and of course i will continue tweaking the setup before we start fighting in zone 5 against dfs but in the end i think that's pretty much everything for my setup for the season i hope you guys liked this video if you did and if you like content like this please be sure to drop the like don't forget to subscribe join the discord the link is in the description if you have any questions for me i do want to revamp the account coaching section and i will start working on it very very soon i will be posting a link and i want to try to expand it to help you guys as much as possible but that will be a topic for a different video for now i hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Meow meow. If you enjoyed this video, click here to watch the next video. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow.